What is going on gamers? Gamer on here, welcome back to a new series on the channel, Assassin's Creed. I am going to very much enjoy this. Now I have played this already before. Oh, I don't want to override my already saved game, I will, I guess I will. All I ever did was story and the viewpoints. But I already played this in the Ezio Trilogy and a tiny bit of Unity. I'm familiar with the, same, uh, the games. And after seeing the th uh, four, but one of them being mobile, I will not enjoy, probably. I applied my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. This, I will say, this is a bit of a weird beginning. We've got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment, retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize him. Yeah, that's right. I'm stuck here and focus for a bit. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Damn it. It's not Well, working. the whole thing with the animus, I think, is the machine to name, I forgot. He'll adjust. The first time. And you're practically reliving these memories, so it's like you are the assassin you're viewing, like Altair in this case. Mr. Man. We need to pull him out. Now. Uh, I'm a bit bored, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... We're going to try and bring you out now. Not really bored, but... Uh -huh. Just write something instead of standing around or walking around. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are, what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head The of apple yours. of Eden. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. That's a yes, there it goes looking for also <coughs> Templars. Something Templars. about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. 
Yes, I when can. When you're done, Change you'll be angles. left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Don't press any button to interact. A wise decision. So now we should be getting into the very beginning. Whoa. Ish. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which yes, is... Uh, it's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. <sighs> very well. <laughs> we'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors And what if I told you you're well? insane, pal? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. Which I guess he's How not do in this animals case. know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal just instinct. Only How you're line. arguing semantics, Mr. Okay. Miles. Whatever Why you call it, yeah. the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. The very end of the game. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. Would you be this, this little memory slot right here? So it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. <laughs> Because if Desmond was able to just skip all the way to the target memory, there wouldn't be much of a game. Warning. Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. <laughs> Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. Oh, words hell. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore systems. But what if I don't want to follow instructions? What if I just the want to run on rooftops? This is a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. The vision. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. It's weird how uh, Eagle Vision works in this game, where it only works with full synchronization. While still, use the head button to observe your environment. Yeah, I'm not going to really use this much. Good. Which I may. Uh, it probably wouldn't make things better and easier. ...to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. But what if I want them to drop what they're carrying, huh? I mean, what if I want to cause a disturbance? In the force. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna actually get through this where I can get to the rooftop running part. Where I don't make this game too, um, or this video too long. The I, Bland is something I rarely 
I won't say well, rarely. Done. Well, yeah, rarely used because how slow it is. I mean, I'll the probably use it when I have to. But between that's it. two fundamental actions: low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering input. I like how vision's high and socially Excellent. acceptable. And jump is weirdly we will not. We continue your acceptable. synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. That's how I get a punch. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. It's weird looking at the tutorial guys and seeing how they don't have faces. Good. It looks weird. Unnatural. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, and to climb be careful not to bump on into anyone. For you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. Which is why you want to hold X and circle. Reach the marker before this man does. Oh, also, a little race I see. I won. Well done. That was easy. The animus will also provide Do I get assassinate now? information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Now, select your hidden blade. Hidden blade selected. With your blade selected, Walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. Now we get to do assassinating in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> what? Actually, I, no, I remember. I played a bit of Odyssey. One thing I did not like about Odyssey is no hidden blade. It's like a weird dagger thing. The dead so, body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Hmm. Provoke him, you say? Okay. He's an assassin. Notice how the I want to status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. Okay, sound easier said than done in most okay, cases. You. I mean, it's faster than trying to Excellent. The line of climb because they'll throw rocks now, at you and knock you down. Garden to hide from the soldier. Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden. I can't remember if you can assassinate people you. while you're Wait hidden like this. Social status changes this I know you can in two. Cause you could assassinate and you'll pull them in to like the hay. I wanna say you can do that in this one. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. You know I can go around killing people. Inset well, guards. Being anonymous will Because being a part of the creed means you must stay your job as an assassin. You must not easy. stain your blade with the blood there of innocence. Places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Yeah, because if you get in it as well will look at you, uh, you immediately hop out and have to run again. Honestly, my favorite hide spots are probably the hay in that one we jumped into earlier. with a demonstration of blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Yes, pass as a Use scholar when you have weaponry on you. Soldiers. And armor. Well, light armor, if anything. But, like, how are they. Well, maybe scholars had a 
swords on them. I don't know if they do. Good. I would feel like that's going to be the, um, hey, wait, now that you are this guy, a new ability he's not is available to you. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Yellow is the well target, done. red soldiers, blue allies, white informant. Well, sir, seems to not be your lucky, oh, so I don't actually get to possess Remember. Eagle vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Oh, it's Please something interesting. Following the Assassin's Creed, your because around this time frame, they had to cut off. Uh, I forgot what's name of that finger. Of three tenets. First, oh, the obvious one that's missing. Person. Second, always because the way the blade sync. was. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync. You can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life, or by respecting the creed. But um, in you Assassin's Creed 2, the, tutorial. the hidden blade the was like recreated to where you didn't have to cut off a single finger just to work the blade. So Ezio has five fingers on both hands, where most assassins around this time frame. Have Wait, missing there must finger. be another way. This one need not die. Well, sir, this time frame, Altair does not care An about skill. the creed. Fortune favors your blade. Rural thing. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer, and you might learn something. Indeed, he'll teach you how to disregard everything the masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only yeah, all Tyre is, is very unlikable better. around this part of the game. Our scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the master considers it important, else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. So that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'll tell you around this time frame is very unlikable. He starts to get likable mid to late game, and that's when he stops being like uh, egotistical. Well, I guess it's the Oh, you can describe him. He thinks he's better than everyone around this. See, this man is not innocent. He's Templar, as you can tell. Therefore, it's okay yeah. to assassinate him. That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming! Templar. I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Massiaf. Robert de Sable, his life is mine. No. Um. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Altair kind of has a point there. You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be rid of Altair him. Altair is the point where he is standing between them and the treasure. Creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. No, 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 I'll tell you, you're pretty questionable right now. Boom. No, I'm wanting to go down the ladder. Okay, that's Hold, not... Templars. You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Um, Blood. your head. No, don't. You know not the things in which you meddle, assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Well, that had to hurt. 
Dang. So those two are closed in by a bunch of Templars. Kill the assassins. One of those two ain't making it out. But us on the other hand, we're getting out. What is that? I can just go up to here. Yeah, I don't know if I can, can I? Okay, I can't climb. Cause I could go through the way I just did or that way. Either way, yes, works. Hey, here's the wall climbing. I used to think the way wall climbing worked in Assassin's Creed before I even played a game was like, oh, you can just kind of climb like Spider-Man. Imagine the look on my face when I realized it's not that way, <laughs> which isn't bad. So, now Altair must go back and deliver the bad news about the Templars and the treasure. Altair, you've returned. Rauf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. <laughs> um, no, it was not. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. Alright, so now we head to go into the castle to talk to the master. It is funny thing about how Open your eyes, fool. Um in this game the assassins are in a castle compared to all the other games where it's not a castle, it's like a a place that will not stand out like a sore thumb. Which makes more sense for assassins to not be in a castle. Uh, what's got into him? Do that again and I'll have I wanna it. say I have to Yeah, it's this way. What is that fool running? For? Get out of the way where you don't get tackled to the ground. You would think people would know this. Yeah, this. See, it's funny how it's like, don't compromise the brotherhood and all that, but yet, the brotherhood, the creed, whatever you want to call it, sticks out like a sore thumb here. I mean, with all the flags and the fact they're in the giant castle. What would cause him to run like that? But I guess it only really refers to out in public and missions. Ah, he returns at last. Abbas. Where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Good then we're going to go see him. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. Yeah, you don't want to mess Rather. with Altair. Where is he going? Now, I want to say to run, like run up through here, not up a uh, hill or not hill, a um, rock. Where to is he going? To run like that? It is an honor. The master waits within. I say this is cool. No, the castle. Oh, hey, it's the master. Altair. Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. Um, well, about trouble, that. Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. Yeah. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. Yeah, Tamar's And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak! 
Not another word. Yep, he's pissed. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go and... No! You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Yeah, it well, was because of Altair that things went bad. Dead. No! Not no, dead. very injured. Merrick. I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Oh. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? Ah, oh, he was able to get away with it. I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though hey, it doesn't seems I've returned with more than just the familiar? Like the icon for Master, the last. We are under attack. Mission? Robert de Sable lay siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for so you, there's Altair, a siege. Our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Siege at the castle. But I'm gonna end it here. Because I think this here is a good... Let's see, yeah, this is a good length. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified for any time I upload. And share this video out because it will greatly help the channel. And that's all for now. See you next time.